firstly, thank you for the invitation to talk to you guys today. I had the, uh, the task of talking about building a client-focused uh, insight consultancy for tomorrow, which is quite a grand uh, and difficult challenge, really. Um, I would like to talk to you about three, uh, three points that I believe are important in shaping a, a client-focused insight organization for tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go in some detail, though, to culture and values. This is something I feel very strongly is one of the most important aspects to uh, creating uh, that organization. I'm going to share with you um, some of the inside secrets of Edelman Berland. Uh, before I do that, I want, just want to uh, give you a little insight to who we are. Uh, we're formerly known as Strategy One, who you may, kn may know was the insight partner for Edelman, which is the world's uh, largest privately owned communications business. We're now Edelman Berlin. Mike Berlin joined us from Pension Berlin about 18 months ago and uh, is very much pushing uh, the, the title of this presentation, building, building an, an insight, uh, client-focused insight organization. And it's, it's important to us because we actually are an agency in an agency. I sit with about 600 other clients in London. We are, the, the, we are literally inside an agency. So I have hundreds of clients around us and I have more clients externally, so it's something that I feel quite, quite passionately about. So three areas I want to cover, uh, cover off, one, one in quite a lot of detail. So culture and values, and by this, I mean the way we do our business. I mean how, what we stand for, how we differentiate ourselves from uh, the comp competition, and how we align with our clients. Quite an important area. S structure, I think there's been a, a, an increasing trend uh, in agencies to uh, try and operationalize and commoditize some of the processes of, of research, whether that be through um, centers of operations or it be through um, project management teams and client teams. That can be very, very important. I, I want to just touch on that as we go through uh, the, the, the presentation today. I believe that we've gone a little bit too far in some instances. And the sorts of people, finally, the sorts of people we have in our organizations, absolutely critical that we uh, we, we identify by client who will work for those organizations, uh, who works fits well, what's the missing piece of the client jigsaw that us as an agency will, uh, will fill. So it's important that we have a mix of personalities, a mix of skills, uh, backgrounds and experience that will work with those, uh, work with those different clients. So the three, the three areas there. I'm going to focus on culture and values in a bit more detail. I'm going to share with you um, what we call the five Bs, uh, deliberately because of uh, Mike, Mike Berland. And these are five values that we have ingrained in our business. They're ingrained in our training. They're ingrained in how we communicate with our clients, the products and services that we offer. And we're very overt about these values. We want to be seen uh, to be that forward thinking and uh, client-centric client organization. So I'll talk you through these uh, in turn now, if I might, with a couple of examples. First, we say to our, to our teams and we say to, uh, to our clients, we must be engaged. What do I mean by that? Well, being engaged, for me, is about the relationship we have with our clients. It's, it's our job now, particularly in my world, where we are at the table with PR, advertising, uh, and marketing heads of clients, not working with research buyers at all, really, that we are listening to their business, business needs and we're actually making recommendations and engaging the client in the real problem, not necessarily what we've been brought in to do. So this is where, for me, insight and research has become more consultative and we have to engage the clients through, uh, through their eyes. So we really do need to become a partner of these guys and to be engaged, we need to live and breathe their business. So we need to be understanding every single one of their pain points, as well as ours as a supplier. Now for me, that means aligning our teams with clients. So I have dedicated people in my office that work with key clients. They're on site more often. They, they, they're listening to every single conversation that goes on in the client. So they are the backup plan for those clients. They are the guys that can answer the problems. So it's, engagement for me is absolutely critical. And um, where we see uh, some great successes with our clients, we're living and breathing their, 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 their lives, and we are always there shadowing them uh, and helping those guys out. The second of our five uh, values, again, I think this is incredibly important for, for our industry ongoing, and that's being creative. So 
cr the creative industry has never normally liked uh, insight and research. Uh, testing seems to be the, the bugbear of these guys. But for me, creative is much more than that. Um, at Edelman, we have the concept of instinct, which is the, the creative drive for our content, for our campaigns, and for the uh, work we do for our clients. And we're seen as, as insight. And we believe that insight and instinct are uh, a match made in heaven. They need to be together. To be fully creative as insight people, not only do we have to be engaged, we also have to know how to articulate ourselves clearly to clients. We need, we need to bring in everything from designers for our decks to videographers to ethnographers to storytellers. Our training covers everything from uh, complex analytics right through to the, the concept of the challenge, the struggle, the resolution of storytelling and the archetypes. It's a very rich and very creative way uh, of working with clients. And by, by being creative, we see that we are able to help con convey insights to our clients. There's no point having a eureka moment in your head if you can't bring that to life for a client. So creativity, for me, is, is absolutely critical in these objectives. Thir thirdly, it may seem a little obvious, but being curious. Now, I've seen a lot of great technology partners around today. I've, I've, I've heard a couple of presentations. But being curious, that, and I always ask why people are actually involved in market research. And the number one thing is I'm a bit nosy, and I'm a bit nosy too. But being curious is critical. We have to go beyond uh, what's in front of us. We have to look under every stone. We have to have the tools and the skill sets and the natural, natural curiosity as researchers to go beyond what we're being asked to do. So that, in, that really, uh, for me, is, a, is around the training, the types of people we bring into our organization um, more than anything. Uh, I always say that you can teach research tricks, but you can't teach someone passion and curiosity. And so when we're looking to bring people into our organization, firstly to meet those, those, those first two objectives, can they run an account? Can they actually be personable and engaging? But are they intellectually curious? I think that's a passion that some people have lost, and I, I really look for it in people that we bring into our organization. Um, so that's number three. Fourthly, be bold. Now, not all clients give us license to be bold. I think when you get those, those first three right, you start to get more ability to be bold with our clients. And what do we mean by, by being bold? Okay, so go beyond the expected. So our clients ask us to solve problems. In, when we respond to them, we make recommendations. We might make bold recommendations. We might go beyond the remit of the brief. The reality for, for our clients uh, at Edelman and Edelman Berlin is that um, they're time poor. They're probably more buying our services than using us um, as, as just partners, that we actually may be the, 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 the brains in the room. We may have to solve the problem on our own. We may have to go uh, beyond that team and work with their stakeholders, making our clients uh, really uh, look, look great and, and the business have solutions. So being bold, constantly improving, um, and you know, having the courage and drive to work, uh, to, to work as hard as we can for every client, we, we think is incredibly important. Some clients, as I say, they want you to deliver a, a work package, but most, in my experience, really just want you to help them and their stakeholders uh, succeed. So that's the fourth of our, of our, five, our five points I want to make today. And being savvy, our fifth, but not least, of our, of our kind of values and uh, a bit of advice for, uh, for the uh, objective today. And for this, I, I would sum it up for being, in research terms, method neutral. We have a team who are all eloquent and able and conversant and able to use different techniques. We have experts, of course, but more and more we lean on partners when we need special skills. More and more we become problem solvers. There was a term insiders a few years ago. I don't, I don't think it took off. But for me, um, we have to be savvy. We have to know where to, who to go and talk to to solve the problem. We don't have to do it all, of us, all ourselves. So this is where we start to be a little bit more management consulting, where we're bringing in a collection or a uh, a consortia of, of, of partners to solve problems for clients. Being savvy, being brave, being bold, saying we can't answer this on our own, but we know who can, has, has paid dividends for us as an organization. Leaning on others with expertise. Um, we talk here about Edelman and Insights. I think it's really interesting to come with a point of view to clients. It's fine to have an expertise. In our world, that's the Edelman Trust Barometer. It's the, it's the backstop for all the work we do in communications around the world. 
uh, and it's actually market research. The organization really values it. So um, for me, being savvy is uh, having at your fingertips some solutions, but uh, not everything, being agile, uh, creating a team that can find the right people at the right time with the right tools. Some great people here today that some we work with, some we don't, that, that, can, that can help clients with their, with their issues. So that's the five um, different, uh, different uh, values that we have. So being engaging. Hopefully I'm not doing a bad job of that today. Uh, keeping, our, keeping the conversation with our clients going. Uh, making sure that the deliverables we have meet their brief and more. Make them show people internally just how great this, uh, this piece of research is. Be creative. Bring it to life. I don't think we do PowerPoint more than one out of ten deliverables now. It's, it's, it's boards. It's video. It's stories. It's infographics. It's, uh, it's novel style books. It's flip books. It's PDF. It's, it's web apps. It's not PowerPoint. We do not show graphs. It doesn't happen anymore. That's quite, that's quite unique, but it's absolutely essential if you're to talk the language of some of the modern day clients, those beyond research. Be curious. You really do have to have people in your team that care enough to, <laughs> to answer the problems and spend the time and the energy answering them well for clients, not just ticking the box. It's so, so important. Be bold. They brought you in. They've asked for your opinion. They want it. So give them your opinion. Um, give them the solution to their problems. Uh, it, you, won't, you won't get, you won't get um, an unhappy client for giving them more answers than they need. And finally, the being savvy point. Um, you, you, you're, you're amongst very smart people here today. You've got a lot of different options and tools available. Let's try things out. Let's, let's innovate. Let's have a go. Let's be honest with our clients. We're trying something new. Let's, let's do it together. That's what, that's what, those are the five things that I think hopefully make us a bit different as an organization, but a great advice we'd like to offer uh, you guys today. So that is all I had to say. I've gone a bit faster than, um, than planned because I knew we were a bit short of time. Um, those are the five values. Can I take any questions?